Hi, this is Rama. Welcome to Rama Reddy Maths Academy. Next, uh, we will discuss about the exact differential equation. Okay, first, what is exact differential equation? How to identify the exact differential equation? What is the form of the exact differential equation? If the equation is exact, how to solve the solution? Today, we are going to discuss all these okay first suppose the equation like this m d x plus n d y the equation is m d x plus n d y is equal to 0 or you can write it as like this also m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy is equal to 0 means the equation is of the form m d x plus n d y is equal to 0 and this equation satisfies do m by do y is equal to do n by do x. The equation which is in the form of m d x plus n d y and it is satisfies do m by do y is equal to do n by do x. Suppose this is y. Then one satisfies this condition. You can say that that is the equation one is exact differential equation. Is it clear guys? What is the exact differential equation? The equation in the form of m d x plus m d y and it is satisfies dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x condition. Then you can say that that is an exact differential equation. If it satisfies this condition, we are, we are going to solve the solution. In this exact differential equation, the solution is integral of m d x. Here y is constant plus integral of terms of n without x. What is that? Terms of n without x dx is equal to c. This is the solution of the exact differential equation. Okay. Now, I will going to show one example. Uh, let's consider one small example. Okay. See, this is solve e to the power of y plus 1 cos x dx plus e to the power of y sin sin x dy see see all of you this equation look like first check whether it is uh, variable separable you already know in the 12th standard variable separable and homogeneous but here we are going to discuss the exact differential equation this is in the form of what m dx and n dy means consider the given equation is 1 the equation 1 equation 1 is of the form what is the form m d x plus n d y is equal to 0. Here, what is our m? Okay, guys, what is our m? m d x. m is what? e to the power of y plus 1 m 2 cos x. Then what is our n? n is e to the power of y sin x. Okay. What we have to do? find dou m by dou y. Dou m by dou y means differentiate m with respect to y partially. If you do the partial differentiation, then the product of the another x variable is the constant. Okay, then only the un 
another variable is there single that will become to 0. Here if you uh, write this is like e to the power of y cos x is one term then product of this cos x. You can differentiate this first then what happened in this case y differentiate y means x is constant not going to 0 then what is the value what is the value of this e to the power of nx what is e to the power of nx partial differentiation tell me n into e to the power of nx then the power is 1 that is 1 into e power of y e power of y in cos x okay product of y this is no change as it is but without y term the x will become to 0 is it clear next do n by do x differentiate n with respect to x come on partially differentiate n with respect to x the product of the another variable is look like as it is don't go for u and v if you do the normal differentiation then um, do uv method but here the partial differentiation then another will the constant right as it is e to the power of y then differentiation of sin x is nothing but the cos x see observe guys what is the result both are same yes both are the same both are the same means do m by do y is equal to do n by do x means the given equation is exact differential equation it satisfies our exact condition if it is exact differential equation what we have to do we have to find the solution of the given equation let us solve the solution of the given equation okay see how to solve the solution last class we already discussed the solution is what integral of m dx not do dx y constant plus integral of what is the value terms of n without x without x into dy is equal to c okay guys m what is our m this is our m Product these two and write it as uh, split uh, split it. Uh, sorry. After multiplication, this will change it to e power y cos x, and this is cos x. Is it clear? Dx. What is our condition? Y is a constant. Next. Terms of n without x and a n law x lane terms means. In this n without x terms, this is involving with x, right? Then you can consider this. No, if we, if any separate y term is there, you can consider that. But there is no separate y term. Terms of n without x, there is no terms. Now simply, this is what? There is no term 0. Okay. That is... 0 into dy equal to c. Come on guys, y constant. You can take it as, take this is out. Then what is the remaining? Because this is a constant in our condition. Cos x dx separating the integral. Next, cos x dx is equal to c. Come on guys, what is the integral of cos x? Tell me, what is the integral of cos x is sin x? This is what e power y sin x and this is also sin x is equal to c. Both the sin x take it as a common. Then what is the value? e power y plus 1 into sin x equal to c. This is our required solution of the given exact differential equation. Okay. Now, next one, next problem, one more problem. We will solve. Next one. Yeah. Next one. 
next example y square minus 2xy dx is equal to x square minus 2xy dy. See, this is an example. And uh, observe the equation. In your 12th standard, uh, this is also the homogeneous also. Why? Why? Because this is a power 2 and 1, 1. This is a power 2, 2. This homogeneous is also possible. But here we are going to discuss about the differential exact only. Now, first convert into mdx plus ndy form. That is, take this term into this side. This will become to negative. But I need to mul uh, multiply with this negative. Then what happened? Y square minus 2xy dx plus of. This will change it to negative and this is a positive 2xy plus x square dy. Now, consider this is our first equation. This is look like m dx plus n dy form, right? Now, what is our m here? This one m. m is y square minus 2xy. Then what is our n here? 2xy plus x square. What is our condition? Do m by do. What is the condition? Do m by do y or do x? Do m by do y is equal to do n by do x. Do m by do y means differentiate m with respect to y partially. If any single x term is, is there that is become to 0. If product with y, x and y then another variable is constant in the partial differentiation. Is it clear? Now this is what? y square will become to 2y. Here 2 is a constant and x is a constant. Then y differentiation is 1. Then what is the value? 2x. Same as do n by do x. With respect to x, y and these two are the constant. x differentiation is 1 partially. That is what? 2y. Then here it is 2x. Both are same? Both are same? No. Is there any change? See, this is a positive, right? Uh, this is a positive and this will negative actually. Sorry guys, this is negative. Okay, both are same, right? 2y minus 2x, 2y minus 2x. Therefore, it satisfies our exactness condition. Do m by do y is equal to do n by do x. Means, the given equation is exact differential equation. Now, I need to find the solution of the exact differential equation. What is the solution here? Integral of m dx y constant plus integral of terms of n without x into d. What is the solution? Integral of m y constant plus terms of n without x. Now, what is our m? You know, this is our m. Integral of y constant m is y square minus 2xy into dx. Here, what we have to observe? Terms of n without x means without x term you need to write the without x term in y this is y this is n sorry here without x this is also having x term this is also having x term means there is no y terms simply this is what zero then what is the solution what is the solution here y square differentiation partially this is what See, what is the integration, not differentiation, sorry guys. What is the integration of this? Integration is 2, hmm, y to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 means y cube by 3, right? And here, no need to consider the y is the constant. Sorry, sorry, sorry guys. 
here what we have to do y is a constant this constant single y term will become to 0 next case these two are the constant differentiate only the x okay that is 2 into x square by 2 x is power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is equal to c then what is our solution c minus x square equal to 0 this is a solution okay next class we will discuss the non-exact differential equations make if you like this video please subscribe share and comment okay